Have you ever stopped to think about the invisible mark you leave on the earth every day? From the food we eat to the clothes we wear and the way we travel, every choice impacts our environment. This impact has a name, the carbon footprint. But what exactly is a carbon footprint? Where does it come from? And how much of it are we responsible for? And most importantly, how can we reduce it to ensure a sustainable future for the generations to come? A carbon footprint is the total amount of greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide and methane, released into the atmosphere by human actions. When we talk about carbon footprints, we're discussing both direct emissions, like driving a car, and indirect emissions, such as the energy needed to produce the goods we consume. Essentially, every aspect of modern life has a carbon cost. For example, did you know that producing a single cheeseburger can release over 3 kilograms of CO2? Each kilogram of CO2 released traps heat in our atmosphere, slowly warming our planet. This extra heat disrupts natural systems, causing more extreme weather, melting polar ice, and affecting ecosystems that millions of species, including humans, depend on. Climate change driven by carbon emissions doesn't just harm wildlife. It affects food security, human health, and even global economies. Rising sea levels could displace entire communities, and more frequent droughts threaten our food supply. Let's break down the carbon footprint of an average person. Transportation, energy use at home, food, and consumer goods all play significant roles. Driving a car, taking flights, and using heating or air conditioning can account for a huge portion of personal emissions. Want to know your footprint? Many tools online allow you to calculate it by inputting details about your lifestyle, travel habits, diet, and household energy use. Knowing where you stand is the first step toward reducing your impact. So, how can you reduce your carbon footprint? Let's look at some effective ways you can start making a difference today. Transportation choices. Carpooling, biking, and public transport can significantly reduce emissions. Electric vehicles also offer a cleaner alternative. And when possible, try to fly less, especially on short-haul flights. Energy use. Switching to energy-efficient appliances and using renewable energy sources like solar can reduce your footprint. Even small changes like turning off lights when you leave a room make a difference. Dietary changes. Reducing meat consumption, especially beef, has a big impact. Plant-based diets require less energy and water to produce. Waste reduction. Recycling, reusing, and reducing waste are simple ways to lower emissions. By composting organic waste, you can prevent methane emissions from landfills. Mindful consumption. Every item you buy has a carbon cost, from production to transportation. Consider purchasing secondhand, choosing sustainable brands, and avoiding fast fashion. Reducing your carbon footprint isn't just about individual actions, it's about collective change. Imagine if millions of people adopted just a few of these habits. The cumulative effect could be transformative. Together, we can create a culture of sustainability. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. Let's work together to protect our planet.